Lipstick is your exclamation point. Sugar and spice and everything nice, that's what little girls are made of. But could your ladylike habits endanger your health or even your life? From hair twirling to fake eyelashes, some beauty trends can jeopardize your health. And that's why today we're revealing the ladylike habits you need to stop. And nothing, I mean nothing says feminine like repressing your bodily functions. <laughs> That's right, ladies, we're talking about the dreaded F-A-R-T. <laughs> we all do it. We're all embarrassed by it. But raise your hand if you're guilty of holding it in when you don't want to. Oh, yes. yeah. Come on! She didn't want to it out. How about you right there in the second row? Stand we're up. We're calling you out. What, what's your name? My name is Shantae. So Shantae, you, you hold it in or you're guilty of sneaking one out? Uh, well, um, I've actually been with my husband 21 years. Oh, that's, they're coming out. We, <laughs> yeah. 21 years? They are coming out oh, full force. Right. You are so right. But recently, not too long ago, um, I slipped into something a little more comfortable one night. And um, we had some alone time. And he's telling me how beautiful I looked and how sexy I was, and I'm just taking it all in. And all of a sudden, my stomach started doing a little bubble. Uh -oh. I'm like, not right now. <laughs> he just yeah. told me I'm sexy. I can't go from sexy to funky in two seconds. <laughs> and so I held it in for the sake of beauty. <laughs> there you go. Well, so, so how long did you hold it in? A couple of hours. Oh! <laughs> That's painful. Oh, this makes it worse. Wow. Any, yeah. uh, right any, right any right similar right. stories? She, she did, well, you got, I can tell you one person who doesn't, well, four, pe three people who don't hold it in. These guys. <laughs> these guys. Poor Lisa, she well, has to deal with us on a daily basis. These guys do it all the time. When we go on the road, it's like, oh, my God, who is it? <laughs> I know well, what like, you're talking you know? about. When, when the four of us went to Haiti for our mission right after the earthquake, and the uh, quarters were very tough. Dr. Masterson and I had to share a bed together. Strictly oh, we Well, we platonic. were all in one room. Oh, we were all in one room. room. We're in one room, so we're in the same bed. And I wake up in the middle of the night, and I, I, I don't know where I am. I forgot where I was, so just I let just go. let one out. And really? It shook the walls, and I go, I went, oh, no, Lisa's in bed with me. She wakes up, what happened? And actually, Lisa still has a scar on her leg from that. <laughs> Well, in fairness, the average human being produces between one and three pints a day of gas. I'm pretty sure we wow. produce about 10 plus. <laughs> yeah. I, these so guys have a lot extra. And actually, women do um, have a lot more gas when they're pregnant. So you're in a very ladylike state. And because of the hormones, you actually produce more gas. So. And then the babies like try to kick it out, right? Exactly. <laughs> and let's, okay. let's talk about reality. You one to three pints a day. You're holding that in. What are we talking about? You feel cranky, abdominal cramping. You can even get headaches and feel dizzy. Shantae, were you feeling all that? That, uh, that those yeah. two hours where you all you could think about yes. was you're holding it in. I just wanted to just let, let it, go. it go. That's why you gotta <laughs> let it go. There you go. Oh yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Relief.